there with uh, me with the story Grace. But I'm not going to put you through all these annotations. Look at this. It's crazy. Hi, BookTube. Hi, man. Alan here. <clears throat> Happy Bloomsday, everybody. <clears throat> so I'm going to be uh, reading from Grace. I uh, was inspired to do this by the fellows at the Codex Cantina. They did, uh, excuse me, I, I'm burping. I, it's a uh, coffee, it's my coffee. Uh, I was inspired to do this by the Codex Cantina. They did a play from this collection. And I'll be doing Grace. But I won't be using that one. I'll be reading from uh, an unannotated edition. Uh, I have double editors. Of, I, I've had so many edition, editions of double editors, I couldn't tell you. Half a dozen at least. Um, so, without further ado, I'll just get on with it. Thank you. I've got like blue pen and red pen and, and uh, arrows going all around and luckily I have another uh, copy of Dubliners and Joyce so uh, I won't take you through that but I'm going to read Grace okay I just want to um, a little back story you can follow this story of Grace with Dante's Inferno yep the fall down into Inferno, and then he comes up, Purgatorio, and then Paradiso. So, um, without further ado, we have the uh, drunken, falling down the stairs story of a Dublin drunk called Grace. Here we go, Grace. Two gentlemen were in the lavatory at the time, tried to lift him up. But he was quite helpless. He lay curled up at the foot of the stairs down which he had fallen. They succeeded in turning him over. His hat was rolled a few yards away from his clothes were smeared with the filth and ooze of the floor which he had lain face downwards. His eyes were closed and his he breathed with a grunting noise. A thin stream of blood trickled from the corner of his mouth. These two gentlemen and one of the curates carried him up the stairs and laid him down again on the floor of the bar. In two minutes he was surrounded by a ring of men. The manager of the bar asked everyone who he was and who was with him. No one knew who he was, uh, but of the curries said he served a gentleman with a small rum. Was he by himself? asked the manager. No, sir. There were two gentlemen with him. And where are they? No one knew, a voice said. Give him air, he fainted. A ring of onlookers assembled and closed again elasticity. A dark metal of blood had formed itself near the man's head on the trussulated floor. The manager, alarmed by the great pallor of the man's face, sent for a policeman. The collar was unfastened, his necktie undone. He opened his eyes for an instant, sighed and closed them again. One of the gentlemen who had carried him upstairs had the dignity silk hat in his hand. The manager asked repeatedly, did no one know who the injured man was or where his friends had gone? The door of the bar was open and an immense constable entered. A now I want to break in here too about, um, I always say that the way to Ulysses is through Dublin Dirt. 
all the characters on Ulysses appear in Dubliners. McCoy, Mr. Uh, Kernan, I mean... Uh, I don't know if Fogarty does. I don't remember him exactly, but... We're all renouncing the devil, he said. Oh, okay. Together, Mr. Fogarty. The way to Ulysses, my friends, is through Dublin Durs. The crowd which had followed him down the laneway collected outside the door, struggling to look through his glass panels. Okay, right, so you get the uh, disgusting element, he fell down the barroom stairs. If you've never been to Bu Dublin, let me tell you that you don't, they have, it's uh, really disgusting in uh, some of the pubs, where the men's room. You don't want to fall down with your face in the, uh, you know, the murk. So, <laughs> I don't know what to say more about this story. I, I could read the ending with the fathers and that, but um, I don't really feel like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. I uh, I don't have the breath. So yes, I, I, I am sorry. I, I gave up on reading the story. It's a long story and it's hard to read, but I'd like to discuss it. It's probably my favorite uh, short story in Dubliners besides Evelyn. I like Evelyn a lot. Um, I like, uh, uh, I just, you know, I like the whole, the whole collection, but um, Grace is a particular uh, favorite of mine, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope because I stopped reading that you won't stop reading the story. Please continue to do it. <laughs> There's so much, uh, the, the ending. Okay, I, no spoilers here, right? Okay. <laughs>